Hi, I'm Chris Savage from the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Some of the most important questions we get here at AMA headquarters are about LiPo batteries and general battery safety. Today, I want to share a few tips with you about how to use, dispose of, and properly handle your LiPo batteries. These tips are going to be vital for making sure you have a safe and a fun flying experience. This is the first in a series of videos we're going to produce for you to teach you about LiPo battery safety. Always store your LiPo batteries in a fire safe container. This is a LiPo battery bag made just for that purpose. You open the Velcro seal, place your battery inside, and the environment safe from a fire hazard. Many members will use something more simple, like this example battery bunker, which has been made from an old ammunition box. You could pick one of these up at a garage sale or even a flea market. Always use an appropriate charger when charging your LiPo batteries. Some chargers, like this one, are pretty simple to use. You plug your battery in and it lets you know when you're finished. Other chargers are a little more complex, like these that you see here. They can be programmed for different sizes of batteries and include features like balancing boards. We're going to talk more in depth about charging in a later video in this series. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions when charging and discharging your LiPo packs. You don't ever want to overcharge or over discharge one of these battery packs. Of the same importance is making sure your battery pack is up to the job at hand. Each pack is designed for a certain type of use. You want to refer to the label to make sure your pack can do what you need it to. In a later video, we're going to talk about how to read this label and make sure your battery pack is up to the job. Don't ever try to use what we call a puffed pack or a pack that has any kind of visible damage. If you have a pack that has damage, don't try to take it apart or repair it in any way. Just dispose of it using a service like Call to Recycle. Even if you're using something like a LiPo battery sack or some type of a battery bunker, don't ever leave a charging LiPo battery unattended. Even with sophisticated chargers like these, LiPo batteries can overheat and start a fire. I don't want all these rules to feel overwhelming. The fact is, most LiPo battery accidents are the result of not following one of these simple rules. Understanding the manufacturer's guidelines and recommendations is critical to making sure that you have a safe and fun flying experience. Stay tuned right here because we're going to be bringing you more battery safety tips that go along with our Battery Basics series in Model Aviation Magazine. Beginning in the July 2015 issue, you can read more about the things that I've discussed today. We'll even tell you how to get the most out of your battery cells. Make sure you don't miss a single video by subscribing to this channel. From AMA Headquarters, I'm Chris Savage, and we'll see you next time.